folks. We've been talking to you a lot about George Soros. We've been talking to you a lot about China. And one of the things that a lot of people don't like when we talk about this is the statement that I oftentimes make when I say that China will be inconsequential in the last days. And there are a lot of prophecy teachers that say no way because they talk about the 200 million man army and all that stuff. And I'm not going to talk about that right now because I've talked too much about it. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this one is unbelievable. If you don't think that China won't be inconsequential in the last days, maybe you ought to catch you into a headline like this. Here it is. Chinese state media slams George Soros as the most evil person in the world and calls him the son of Satan. <laughs> oh, right, this is just unbelievable. Folks, it did not take long for China to respond to George Soros after he went completely insane on Beijing and the U.S. investment guys that were literally putting a bunch of money into capitalize into China's massive market. They did not want, he does not want the Chinese market to grow beyond that which the globalists are capable of being able to handle. Now, without getting into any kind of detail, let me just simply say that the China's uh, the Chinese state ran or the Chinese Communist Party tabloid that is run actually even went as far as to refer to him as a global economic terrorist. Now, they say that because Soros went out of his way to accuse a few people who were making investments, big, huge investments into China's economy by these massive hedge funds. He accused them of all kinds of things. That I'm not even going to get into the long exchange that went back and forth between them. It was a pretty long exchange, but it's really interesting how now they are both fighting each other adamantly how Soros has now turned his face against China when he used to support China and now China doesn't like Soros now back in the day Soros loved China because he thought he could get the Chinese Communist Party to acquiesce with the mindset of globalism in the new world order that is coming but when he realized he could not get them to do so and that they wanted total and complete domination he began to ran uh, ran to run an extensive campaign against them and they are at odds with each other soros is going to look for a way to scapegoat china and i can promise you this don't be surprised that if Soros is not successful in doing it, the rest of the global community will be successful in doing it. And before you know it, I can promise you that China will become somewhat inconsequential because they won't be around in the last days when Ezekiel 38 and 39 happens. I can't imagine them being around at least consequentially, if you know what I mean. Folks, we are seeing the beginning of the teardown of China. People don't see it. They don't recognize it. But I'm telling you right now, we are seeing the beginning of it. When someone as big as George Soros starts to make vocal, vocally opposition, makes vocal opposition towards something like China, oh my gosh, it ain't going to last. China ain't going to last. You wait and see, folks. And all I can tell you is this. It's coming together. We're watching the geopolitical shifting. The United States has become somewhat inconsequential. Now it's China's turn. And before you know it, what becomes the greatest power will be the conglomerate of nations that come together to rule, to fix the world in the mess that it's in with the Great Reset. And eventually, you know what they're going to do? They're going to yield that power to one guy, the final Antichrist. And we are watching it happen. This is unbelievable, folks. We are seeing amazing things happen that we've never seen before. Jesus is coming soon. Get ready. God bless you.